Welcome to the History Help channel. Today we are looking into the historiography section. In this we will be learning about the modern historiographers. In modern historiographers, in the previous slide we learned about uh, Enlightenment period uh, historiographers. Today we will look into two modern historiographers uh, which belong to, one of them belongs to Romantic period and one of them belong to the Positivist school of thought. Yeah. So let's begin. The first person we will look into is Thomas Carley. He belonged to the Romantic period. So if you recollect, Romantic period is one where uh, uh, there is a lot of influence of uh, fantasy and illusion and imagination. So Thomas Carley belonged to the Romantic period. So he was an English historiographer born in Scotland. He learned maths and he also knew about law. Uh, he wrote a lot of books and some of them are the French Revolution on heroes, hero worship and heroic in history. He also wrote about early kings of Norway and uh, uh, also about Cromwell. So in all these books, his focus is on, on, on heroes. So he's, uh, for him, history is nothing but the biography of great men. So common man, uh, he did not stand for common man. So he said common man was not worthy of, you know, looking or uh, worthy of consideration. For him, everything was on big personalities. So he uh, gave a lot of, uh, uh, he admired and gave a lot of importance to Frederick the Great and Cromwell. And even in the early kings of Norway, it was always about big personalities rather than common man. He was not very objective either. So his French Revolution does not look into the causes or the effects of the revolution and all. It is only focusing on the drama or the, uh, or the actors. So it was always about uh, personalities and the drama they create and not about you know facts or uh, uh, causes and uh, effects uh, like a true historian. So it was just to do with uh, you know drama. So he also says everything is according to divine divinity. That is that is also his beliefs. So he uh, he uh, because he did not give importance to common man, universal suffrage or uh, even uh, election or voting was not what he considered okay. Rather, he believed in a wise and a benevolent ruler who can take uh, the society forward. So it is said that Thomas Stanley was life was full of misery. So he uh, gave uh, he looked for drama in his research. So that is why his focus was always about actors and this uh, and the drama they created. So next person we look into is August Comte. He was from the positivist period. Uh, that is from the 1798-1857 was his lifetime. So if you recollect, positivist period is uh, where everything is explained in scientific laws. So August Comte is one such person. He was a French and he is also known as the father of sociology. Sociology was a new science that was introduced and sociology talks about interrelationships of man and people in society. So August Comte is known as the father of sociology. He was actually a professor of maths. He wrote books like Codes of Positive Philosophy and Systems of Positive Philosophy. So he talks about several sciences like uh, maths, astronomy, physics, chemistry, biology and sociology. And he says that see these sciences depend on each other. So the astronomy will depend on physics. So uh, that, that's how he connects the sciences. The other thing he says is he talks about the world of nature and world of society. So just like in nature there are physical laws, similarly there are laws in uh, society too, he says. That is why he is known as the, uh, the positive spirit which always talks about laws. So he says that there are certain laws which we can discover in society which will help us in understanding the uh, uh, future, how, how society will go. Suppose you understand the uh, loss of society, you will be able to predict the uh, future, predict the direction of uh, history. So that is how we believe that. That is how he gave more stress on loss of society. He also says that human mind goes through three stages in this law of three stages. He says that human mind passes through theological phase, metaphysical phase and scientific phase. So in theological phase, uh, mind is, uh, he says that uh, he believes that uh, man sees everything uh, 
as having a will or uh, a power in the metaphysical say space it uh, uh, instead of will it is thought and in the uh, the, the final stage that is scientific uh, everything is determined by uh, the scientific uh, law scientific ideas so uh, from uh, the uh, what is that from uh, will to thought to scientific that is how he describes the human mind which will go through these three stages so this is the picture of him and because of uh, him a new science called uh, sociology was introduced and he talks about the evolution of the human mind he also talks about different sciences so that's why his contribution towards sociology has been uh, very great and hence he is known as the father of sociology so the next lesson we will be learning is about hegel so thank you for that